Hello guys, welcome back to another video. DJ has come up with the new uh, DJ app version that is 1.4.12. So the current app version that we were using was 1.4.8. So in this video, we will be checking out what's new in 1.4.12 that is a new version and whether drone hacks is working totally fine or not. So now let's quickly download the latest version. People who are using iOS devices, they can directly find this latest version in Apple App Store. So the people who are using Android devices, they cannot find this latest version in Play Store. So they need to download it from the DJI Fly app official website. So I'll be adding the link to download this latest version in the description. You can directly hit on the link and you can download this latest DJI Fly app version. In the website also, it will show 1.4.8 is the latest version but when you click on download button uh, that time it will start downloading 1.4.12 so you can click on the download and check whether you are getting the latest version that is 1.4.12 once the downloading is complete you can click on install and get this app installed if this uh, application is not getting installed on your android device then you need to uninstall the current uh, DJI app which you are using and then you need to install this uh, application again so don't worry about the data that uh, you will lose uh, all the data that you have on your uh, aircraft will be restored to your dj fly app that is new version all the pictures all the uh, videos that you have taken that is a cache file uh, will be stored in the latest version as well so just you have to follow the simple steps is uninstall the current dj fly app version that you are using and reinstall the DJI Fly app that is the new version that you have recently downloaded from the browser. Once the installation is done, just uh, agree to the terms and conditions and set all the permissions. Then app album update will appear and once you click on S, the resource data installation will start. So while installing the resource data, you need to keep your phone data on. So till it gets installed, let's discuss about what's new in 1.4.12. In version 1.4.12, DJI adds live stream feature in image transmission setting to share drone footage. DJI also adds support to view video cached before loss of image transmission signal in Find My Drone. DJI has also added support for Android 12. So in the past days we were facing some uh, DJI uh, fly app getting crashed and uh, getting reopened. Uh, so that issue has been fixed over here in this version. In version 1.4.12 for iOS, DJI has added live stream feature in image transmission setting to share drone footage. They have also added support to view video cache before loss of image transmission signal in Find My Drone and have added support for iOS 15. And here also we were seeing some uh, DJI Fly app getting crashed. So here it is optimized and uh, they have fixed it. So this was the overall view of what they have provided in the new DJI Flap version that is uh, 1.4.12. So now let's check whether drone hacks is working or not. So before getting started you need to log in with the same email id which you had previously logged in in your previous version. Why you have to use the same email id is just because you had installed NFZ certificate linked with that email id which you had previously uh, entered. So you need to use that email ID itself to have the NFZ certificate else you need to reinstall the NFZ certificate again by doing the drone hack process. So in this new version DJI has added FPV and uh, DJI Mini SC. Now let's turn on our aircraft and turn on our RC and connect our phone with the RC. Let's click on go fly. Actually uh, I am shooting this video in the night. That is around 11:30, uh, so the environment over here is dark. Now let's go to the setting and go to the unlock geozone. Here you can see that uh, drone hack certificate has been installed directly without doing any hack process after reinstalling the DJI Fly. The home point you has been updated. Session. Please that check is, it on uh, the app map. Version. I'm using 1.4.12. Here you can also see the aircraft firmware, RC firmware, and uh, FlySafe database. Now let's quickly take off and check whether our uh, drone is flying more than 15 meters or not. So whenever you reinstall your DJI Fly app or do any upgrades then go to the settings and uh, go into the advanced safety settings and check whether you have selected return to home when signal lost. 
So as you can see on the screen, we have exceeded 15 meters without any issue. That means drone hacks is working totally fine. So we will be flying up to 120 meters and testing it. And meanwhile, we'll also be testing any of the quick shot or uh, pano mode. So now, as you can see on the screen, we have uh, reached 120 meters uh, without any issue. So we can confirm here that uh, drone hacks is working totally fine and FZ certificate is working totally fine. So I had thought that we will be testing a quick shot, but uh, in the dark mode, quick shot won't get enabled and uh, won't detect an object. So quick shot cannot be tested in the dark. So we can test a pano mode. If pano mode is working fine, then that means quick shot will also work totally fine. As you saw that 360 photo worked totally fine and we'll also be seeing the stitching. Anyways, I'm not expecting a good quality photo because it's totally dark and uh, Mini 2 won't perform that great in the dark uh, situations. So meanwhile, I have also tested the back button uh, method and also I have tested a DH companion. I will not be adding that in this video because the video will be too lengthy about 15 meter, minutes or uh, 20 minutes. So uh, every method is working totally fine. You can uh, uh, update your uh, DJ flap and uh, use the latest version without any worries. So if you are new on the channel and if you don't know about the 15 meters hack, I will be adding the link in the i button and also in the description, you can go and check out the 15 meters hack video. So the last day to register our drone on digital sky is 30th of November. After that, maybe there will be some charge or something. I don't know about the further part after the 30th of November. So I suggest you guys to enlist your drone before 30th of November. I'll be adding the link of that video as well in the i button and description. You can check out. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you have liked this video and found this video informative. If you guys found this video informative, do hit a like button and subscribe to my channel. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.